get buckets. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of the show. So today we're talking about the Olympics. Yeah, I didn't want to talk about the Olympics, but that's the only thing involving a ball right now. So I gotta, gotta talk about the Olympics. So today begins the quarterfinals. USA is squaring off against Argentina and Manu Ginobili. So it's a walk in the park right now if Manu's the best guy on your team. I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm just trying to say that it's not gonna be the hardest thing for the USA. Now, I'm gonna go on the record and say this, and this is an unpopular opinion right now, but I wouldn't mind if Team USA lost. I actually think it would be good for basketball. It'd be good for the Olympics. It would be good for the Team USA. Listen, right now, Team USA ain't cutting it. They playing the ISO ball. They might as well have just thrown out 10 James Hardens. That should have been Team USA. Right now, Team USA is not cutting it. I want them to lose because you know what? I like the underdog, one. Two, I think the team right now is just a trash magnet. And three, you know what? I love trash. But I'm not the only one who thinks this way. Charles Barkley has gone on record as saying, I always want us to win the gold medal. It's not a good team to put together. I don't think they did a good job because if you watch all those guys, they're all good players. Don't get me wrong. They all need the ball. He also further stated that if you take away DeAndre Jordan, every guy on that team is ball dominant. You see them playing a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball. That's the thing I've noticed more than anything, etc., etc. Kyrie's got to score, DeRozan's got to score. Kevin Durant's got to have the ball. You need guys like uh, LeBron James. You need guys like, oh wait, they didn't want to play because of the Zika virus. This is the best team that we could have put together, Charles. There aren't any good players that didn't get to play because they weren't good enough. Harrison Barnes is on the team for, for goodness sake, man. You don't think we would have put out LeBron James instead of Harrison Barnes or maybe put out Kawhi Leonard? They didn't want to play. So uh, I don't think we could have gotten better guys. I think we got the best guys that we could. I just think right now the NBA is so focused on ISO ball that that's just how it is. We can't all be the Spurs. We can't all be Greg Popovich. Are you telling me you'd rather watch the Spurs than team of five Russell Westbrooks? It would be awesome. Only one Russell Westbrook would ever get the ball, but it would still be an awesome game. It's raining. Thanks God. You know what? It always rains when I'm trying to shoot a video and I can't deal. DeAndre Jordan has said that he would rather get a medal than an NBA championship ring. You know what? This is only the natural progression of people who have come to the realization that they will never get a ring. My rings are gone. He ain't got no rings. He's realized that the Clippers team will not get a ring. He ain't gonna get a ring. So why not say, I'd rather get a medal? You gotta ingrain that in the fans' minds right now. So when you don't get a ring, you can say, I got what I wanted anyway. Listen, back when I was playing high school basketball, we didn't win a championship, and that was okay because winning a championship was not all I wanted. What I really wanted was to go down to the schoolyard and dunk on 10-year-olds and get a championship in schoolyard ball. That's all I really wanted to do was dunk on 10-year-olds. DeAndre, if everyone felt this way, you don't think Steph, Westbrook, Kawhi, LeBron, you don't think they'd be playing? Of course you'd rather get a championship ring. Nobody cares about medals, man. They give away three. They only give away one ring. And I know you're doing it for your country, but Melo has brainwashed you because Melo knows that he will never get a ring with Derrick Rose. So he says, I know that Derrick Rose and Joe Kim Noah ain't going to get me a ring. So I'm going to take these medals and I'm going to make that my thing. That's like saying you'd rather win the Nickelodeon blimp than win an Oscar as an actor. It's like, I didn't want to win a Grammy. I wanted to win an MTV Music Award. It's like nobody says that. If anybody felt that way, then the best of the best would be playing. And right now, Harrison Barnes is on Team USA. That's enough right there. All right, moving on with the Olympic talk. LeBron says that he's not totally done with the thought of playing in the Olympics. He may want to play in 2020. He says, you know, watching these guys out there, it makes me want to play. I'm not saying that I'm going to play. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just saying that it's something that I might be interested in. So maybe we'll see LeBron James in 2020 when he's not good enough to win a ring. All right, so speaking of Olympic basketball players, Yi Yanlin of China may be signing with the Lakers. Now, the Lakers, they have said <clears throat> that 
they are thinking about signing him to a one-year, possibly $8 million contract. Who is Yi Yanlin and how good is he? Well, right now, he's averaging 20 points for China in the Olympics. In other news, China's getting blown out by 30 and 40 in every game, so he's the best player on a bad team. All right, so Yi's played in the USA before, in the NBA, actually. He played for the Mavericks. Um, I believe he played for some other teams. I don't know, he was in a 2K a long time ago. And it is said that he had the lowest VORP on the team except for one guy. So there was only one guy on the team with a lower VORP than him. Now VORP means value above replacement player. So I take that to mean if you were to put any average Joe in there to play the position, that's his value compared to that average Joe. So we're gonna say, you know, your average Joe, say the Lakers, for instance, say you put Jack Nicholson in at point guard. Jack Nicholson is kind of the, the normal, it's the line for average. And Yi Yan Lin has the second lowest VORP value over replacement players. So here's Jack Nicholson, here's Yi Yan Lin, and then here's like Nick Young, and then you got like Kobe up here, the way up here you got like D'Lo. If D'Lo's your top VORP, you know something's wrong with the team. Take us through that last play. I play like shit. But it's possible that the Lakers are gonna tank again this year because they got money that they can throw out there. There's no free agents left. Why not give that to Yi? Don't bank on Yi being a fantasy dark horse. And finally, Brittany Griner, the WNBA player says that she could beat DeMarcus Cousins in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Says you'd be no better than the third best host player on the men's team. <laughs> I'm just going to use that to fuel, fuel this. I mean, I'm better, but, um, and I know that, that kind of gets at him, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, little man. What is she doing, man? What is she doing? I don't want to say who she can or can't beat. I've never watched her play, but I guarantee you she can't beat anyone in the NBA. I mean, Yi Yuan Lin would probably make Brittany Griner look like me. So let's see. Team USA reacts to what Brittany Griner has to say. What do they think? Let's see. A little delusion. I would pay to see that. I pay for our ticket. <laughs> I got cars on that one. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. All right, anyway, that's all I got for today. I told myself I wouldn't talk about the Olympics, but when that's the only thing involving a ball that's not Draymond Green, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. Hopefully this rain didn't ruin the video. Always rains on my parade, what can I say? I'll catch you guys later. Peace.